uh, that was uh, a, a very apt uh, of Chris to do that in a sense because the King Oliver band uh, had uh, two uh, trumpets uh, leading the band as but he, uh, one as I mentioned before there was King Oliver uh, who was the uh, established uh, king of New Orleans trumpet in, in those days and had been for some years and an up-and-coming very promising very talented youngster named Louis Armstrong well Louis went on to become probably the greatest man in all jazz history he completely changed the whole course of jazz by um, breaking out of the New Orleans essentially ensemble style uh, because of his incredible uh, gifts at improvisation and uh, he became a star soloist and uh, he changed uh, jazz in the sense that he was the first of the um, great single solo stars to emerge um, from the music. So by the late 1920s um, Louis had left King Oliver and made his name with some astounding records uh, with his Hot 5 and Hot 7 playing a superlative um, New Orleans trumpet. I was also starting to show that uh, he was a great natural showman and entertainer, wonderful vocalist too. And uh, as his fame spread, as radio started to catch on and um, records were sold and he knew his name became bigger and bigger, he became a big solo star and he'd be standing there in his white tuxedo uh, in front of a large orchestra uh, playing and singing away and um, he became the great international star that he was from then on. So here's one of about his early hits from the late 1920s, in his early days as a solo star. We're going to get uh, Johnny to sing this one for you. It's called I'm Confessing That I Love You. It's in A flat if you want to join in. <laughs> and hopefully it's nothing like um, Frank Ifield. <laughs>